mean, I've been in Hollywood since I was 19 years old, so I've always been a little bit obsessed with my image. Um, I also work in the world of pageantry. I'm an executive producer for the Miss Universe organization. Um, so I work in the beauty industry. It's something that I understand. I don't think, think I don't think there's anything wrong with a woman wanting to feel like the best version of herself. About a year ago when we had the shutdown in California, the surgeons stopped working for about two months, any surgeon that was outside the hospital. And we were very concerned that when we'd go back, we would have issues with patients not coming in and it not being safe and us having a very slow year. Most doctors in Southern California and in Beverly Hills have had a three-fold or a 300% increase in the number of patients that they're seeing and operating on. This year has seen a huge uh, change in people trying to look natural. Women now are reversing all their fillers. They're coming in and they want to get rid of the under eye filler that went wrong, the lip filler that went wrong. Yeah, you completely lifted this whole part of my face. Like People, instead of wanting to do fillers in their lips, which can make it heavier and like a duck, they're actually shortening the lip, bringing it up, giving it nicer curvature with a surgery called an upper lip lift is when you look at the lips, the lips are sexy, not just because of volume, they're sexy because of the shape, the way they show, the teeth. I wanted to do the lip lift and I thought this would be the perfect time to, to do this because we can't go anywhere, everything shut down. So I had a mini aura lift, a lip lift, Reconstruction, reconstruction of the earlobes and my eyelids done. It takes time to heal. And I actually, you know, on my social media showed my entire process to my fan base. I showed everything. You can still age gracefully and have a little bit of work done. You can still be yourself. Um, so what I've seen during this whole mask pandemic is patients wanting surgery around the mouth who are scared to have surgery. Now they're coming in for surgery around the mouth and the lower face because they can cover it. Alternatively, we've also seen that because people are wearing masks, their eyes are what everybody looks at. We've also seen a big increase in upper eyelid surgery in younger patients and brow lift surgery in younger patients. And this, depending on which doctor you go to, it can cost $1,000, it can cost $10,000. So it's somewhere in that range, just depending on how far you want to go. When the patients come in and want something surgical to refresh the face, now we're talking about eyelid surgery, lip lifts, brow lifts, lower eyelids and face lifts, neck lifts. That can go from $15,000 up to $100,000. We're seeing facelifts more than anything on men and women. All of them are coming in for their necks that are coming down. They see it on Zoom phone calls. They see it in meetings, especially all the time that they're digital now. They come to me and ask, hey Ben, do you think I could do a lip lift? Guys that you'd never think would want anything. I'm talking about fat, hairy guys, skinny, good looking guys. They come in and they actually want to do these surgeries now. The incisions here for the eyelid, they go inside the eyelid, they're hidden in there. The fat was taken back up so you keep the fullness, it's natural. No one looks at me and goes, oh my God, you had a facelift or you had all the stuff done. I think I look very natural. and I just feel like the best version of myself. Say wanting plastic surgery or wanting cosmetic surgery, it's a normal thing. We want to make ourselves look better. If you want something that is not realistic and you want it, you already look beautiful and you keep trying to change things, you're going to end up in what we call a rabbit hole. That means you just go deeper and deeper and deeper and there's no digging yourself out. Nice.